in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Microsoft Copilot within the browser to analyze and summarize a video on YouTube or any uh, major video playing application and use the generative AI features to ask questions about the video just using the context and the content within that video. So here you can see I've got one of our uh, corporate videos, our Sicilian videos for a fireside chat that I ran about six months ago uh, with my panel. Here we're talking about security and governance in the world of generative AI. And I can't really remember what we talked about in the session. I remember it being quite interesting. But what I want to do here is use Copilot to understand it. So I'm going to head over to the right hand side of the screen here and click on the Copilot button. Now, what I can now do is select a, a chat mode. So I tend to uh, use balance, but I can use creative or, or precise. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of this. I'm going to click on precise. And I can either simply ask it to generate video highlights for me. So if I click on this, then what's going to happen is it's actually going to process the transcript that's written. So uh, when you upload a video, as long as the video has got transcription enabled, then it will run through. So you can see here it's running through the summary of the video and simply talking about the things we talked about. It's broken it into parts. It's given me time indications of the key things that we talked about. And it's given me a relatively good summary of essentially what's in the video. So this is quite good if I'm flicking through a number of different videos and I'm not quite sure whether it's one I want. I haven't got to watch it or skip through it. I can simply um, run through and it's, it's picking up the identifications based on the markers that uh, YouTube has created. So this is quite nice. So you can see here it's uh, gone through and you can see what we're talking about. Um, Cybersecurity in general, we're talking about AI at the forefront, so what organizations need to do. We're talking a little bit about some of the product name changes that came about. So, yeah, this was about the time that Microsoft changed Azure Active Directory to Intra ID. We're talking about some of the challenges of data protection, the need to classify and label data, and uh, talking about you know, how we take ownership of data and who's responsible for the content. So, so that's really useful. And then what I can then do is ask questions about the video uh, and Copilot will answer based on the context of what was discussed. So you can see here it's given me the usual kind of suggestions. So I can, I can ask here about what are the legal risks associated with AI generated content. And again, Copilot is going to use the video and the, the transcript in that video to answer that question. So absolutely it's talking here about intellectual property, it's talking about accuracy and reliability which is certainly something that we know can be an issue with uh, Copilot, it's all about the data and just as this is using that information, you know, this uh, response is grounded on the conversational chat okay so this is only using information in the chat but i could go out now and ask it to to go and find other information for me from the internet should i wish it to do that but you can see here this is really just about asking questions about the video which is really really useful if like me you've, you've recorded a video and forgotten what it was about or you're just scanning through videos and you're looking for one maybe it's a training course or a how-to guide and it's quite long and rather than just kind of skipping through points of the video you can ask Copilot to summarize that video for you uh, so you know whether it's worth to watch so there we go this is this is Copilot within the browser this is part of the free version of Microsoft Copilot so anybody with a Microsoft account a Hotmail account for example uh, can use this within the Edge browser or of course, if you're in the workplace and you have Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365, then of course you can use this as well.